Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here at Rapid Media TV, and I'm at the 2014 Canoe Copia Show, and I'm here in the Legacy Paddle Sports native booth here with Mike. Mike, you're one of the founders here of Legacy Paddle Sports. Yeah, we started Legacy back in uh, late 2005, early 2006, and uh, we started with our first brand with Native Watercraft, uh, all fishing, and uh, we wanted to have the the best fishing boats for the experience uh, uh, the best experience of fishing, I should say, stability and, and overall usability and, and right. comfort and that sort of stuff. Let's right. fast forward nine years here yeah. and check out the latest model. Has yep. it been that long? Wow. Well, I'm just doing Time the math. Flies, I'm just man. doing my head. I'm like Woo. 2005, I don't 2014. Feel any older. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, things have come a long way in, in, yeah. in the fishing world and boats in, in particular and how people are using them. Mm -hmm. So this is the Slayer Propel. It was a 13-foot boat. Yeah, the Slayer Propel came out this year. Um, we're using a Propel drive system, which is basically a recumbent bike, sort of uh, ergonomics, if you will. And uh, it's got a unique feature where you can go forward, but you can also go in reverse. Reverse will give you braking ability, so in case something darts in front of you for safety, or if you're coming in too hot on a pier or something, you can put it in reverse. And then for the fisherman, it's invaluable because you can fight your catch, or you can uh, control the boat totally in current. So your hands are free. You're, let's say you're casting toward a bank and the current is blowing you in, or the wind is blowing you in, rather. You can just pedal in reverse and just intuitively have total control over the boat. Um, it's steered with your left hand, and you can set a course, and you can fish while you're pedaling from point A to point B. And that's really great for, you know, for fishing, especially in tournaments. If you're a paddling with a paddle, you're not fishing. So if your hands are free and you're always casting, the more your water, uh, the more your line is wet, the more chance of catching fish, you're going to have a better day on the water fishing. Um, the seat is super comfortable. When we started uh, Native Watercraft, we wanted to have the most comfortable seat possible. So you can sit out uh, for hours at a time from sunup to sundown, literally, have a breathable seat, doesn't get too hot. Uh, when it gets wet, it dries up very easily. Uh, super back support. And in these almost 10 years of having the brand, that so, is, sorry about that. It's yeah, it's okay. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, but the, our seats have been our hallmark. Uh, the fact that you can sit out there. It's funny because my friends in the industry, when we first came out with the first, you know, first class seat as we call it, they made fun of us for, oh, now you're making lawn furniture, you know, and putting them in kayaks. So you can look around this show and you'll see a lot of. Lawn furniture oh, now. A lot of lawn industry. furniture in yeah. these boats. The other, so the other cool thing I want to get back to this propel system. Uh -huh. It comes right out, and this boat paddles just like a. I mean, dude, it's a kayak, but it yeah, paddles right, just like right. a kayak. This is yeah, and that's what it's. Uh, it's it's the third Slayer in a series. We have the Slayer 12, um, paddle only Slayer 14.5. That was last year, and then this year we came out with the Slayer 13, uh, propel. But you still have the same performance-oriented hull that we have in the prior two Slayers from last year. Um, so that gives you the, the ability to, if, if you just want to take it out in some really, th this boat draws 12 inches of water with a drive unit. If you want to go out in skinnier water than that, you can take the drive unit out, leave it in your car or whatever, and now you've got a great kayak for just tooling around normally with a paddle. Uh, this also comes in handy if you're out pedaling and you get in really shallow water and you can't use the drive unit because you're in shallower water than 12 inches and you pull it up out of the way and now you use your paddle. Take an extra paddle with you and you're good to go. That's great. All right, are you guys going to be in Charleston? Are you at the East Coast Canoe and Kayak? We will be down there. Yeah, we'll have a retailer there. Our rep will be there. We'll have a couple of folks from the factory there as well. Cool, man. I'm going to be yeah. down there. I'm going to try one of this out on the little lake that they have there. I can't Terrific. wait. Terrific. Okay, great. Mike, thank awesome. you very much. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Thank right you. Right on. Scott McGregor here in the Legacy Paddle Sports booth for Rapid Media TV, hoping you paddle forever. More about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.